Good morning, everyone. And welcome to our backyard. I wanted to give a quick update on our cardinal climber vine, which is an annual. I had showed this vine earlier that's on our trellises. And it wasn't flowering yet last month. And this is the reason why we plant this annual, is because now during hummingbird migration, it blooms a lot, which really attracts the hummingbirds in. So I'm gonna come around to the front. Oh no, the sun is coming out. It's not gonna be good lighting here. Let me see if I can come over on this side. You can hear the little tweeting going on. That's the hummingbirds talking. You can see them catching bugs in the air, feeding on the feeders. But I wanted to show what this vine looks like, which is an annual that we plant from seed every year. And it blooms very well. They're these trumpet-shaped blooms that have a lot of nectar in them. And the hummingbirds really like this. They like a lot of other plants in our garden also, and we plant specifically for hummingbirds and butterflies. But I did want to provide this update because there's so many flowers right now. And they're so pretty. And the hummingbirds just come through here and love. I'm going to come back behind it. See, <laughs> so you can see how prolific this annual vine flowers. And it's just right in perfect time for the hummingbird migration. <laughs> we've got it all over so we've got it along the five trellises here and then we have it along our north fence so I'm going to come back out oh Butterflies like it in here too. But I'm going to come back out. So I was behind our trellis. And we also have it, as you can see, along the northern fence. So we have this stand here. Hopefully it's not too jerky and distracting. But we also have Cardinal Climber along our northern fence. And it's blooming really nicely. And what we do is, on the fence, what has worked nicely is we've planted it from seed along the ground. And then what we do is set up fishing line, little eye hooks, and then just put the fishing line up on the fence 
and the cardinal climber grows beautifully up the fishing line and gets into the sun on our fence line. Come over in the corner here. So it is a, a plant that likes full sun. It is a hybrid that grows true to seed and it is a cross between um, a couple of tropical vines. I'll put those again in the description. I always forget what the cross is. But the, the seed is true to seed and they just bloom so nicely. So I wanted to share with you, for those of you that don't necessarily want to spend a lot of money but have a very prolific and growing vine that is an annual every year, I highly recommend this vine which is called Cardinal Climber. And I do want to show, we had one last thing before I go. In our north bed here, we have this cardinal climber in the center here. This is one vine, and it was a volunteer, and we did <laughs> let it go, and we had to stake it. And we kind of wish we hadn't have known now because it really um, provide has too much shade. It just gives too much shade to the rest of the plants. I have swamp milkweed and milkweed in here for our monarch butterflies, but I did want to show you what this vine does. So if you look there, that is that, long, that very thick stalk. That's the stalk that supplies all the nutrition to this one vine. It's big, but it's just one vine here in the center. <laughs> one plant. Pretty amazing. So anyway, just gonna pan here. Thanks for joining me today. Oh, got a hummingbird right by me. See if I can get him up. Oh, he flew, but you can hear him. He's talking to me, but anyway. I wanted to share with you this particular plant today. Beautiful red flowers called Cardinal Climber. Hope y'all have a great day.